Prepositions, small words, big meanings. Prepositions are small but essential words in the English language. They might seem unimportant, but they play a big role in helping us understand the relationships between things in a sentence. In simple terms, prepositions are words that show where something is or when something happens in relation to something else. They help us paint a clear picture with words. Prepositions are easy to spot in a sentence because they usually come before a noun or pronoun. Common examples of prepositions include in, on, under, between, above, below, and beside. Let's take a closer look at what prepositions do and how they work. Firstly, prepositions show location. They tell us where something is. For example, if I say, the cat is on the table, the word on is a preposition that helps us understand where the cat is. Without it, we wouldn't know if the cat is on the table, under the table, or beside the table. Secondly, prepositions show direction. They help us understand where something is moving or going. For instance, if I say, she walked to the store, the word to is a preposition that tells us the direction of her movement towards the store. Thirdly, prepositions also indicate time. They help us understand when something happens. If I say, we have a meeting at 3 o'clock, the word at is a preposition that tells us the time when the meeting will take place. Furthermore, prepositions can be used to explain relationships between things. For instance, if I say, the book is between the two pencils, the word between shows the relationship between the book and the pencils, it's in the middle of them. Prepositions are versatile, they can be used to describe all kinds of relationships. Sometimes, a single preposition can have various meanings. For example, on can mean on top of, on the surface of, or on a specific day. This flexibility can make prepositions a bit tricky to master, but with practice, you'll get the hang of it. It's important to remember that prepositions are not used alone, they always need to be part of a phrase. This phrase is called a prepositional phrase and consists of the preposition, an object, usually a noun or pronoun, and sometimes additional words. In the sentence the book is on the table, on the table is a prepositional phrase, whereon is the preposition, and the table is the object of the preposition. In summary, prepositions may be small words, but they have a big job in our language. They help us understand where things are, where they are going, when things happen, and how things relate to each other. Learning how to use prepositions correctly is an important part of mastering English, and with practice, you'll become more comfortable with these tiny but mighty words. So, the next time you read or write a sentence, pay attention to the prepositions, they'll guide you in understanding the relationships between words and ideas.